हेलो गैस वेलकम टू द हाई प्रोडक्शन In this video tutorial, we are going to design a famous product called Astro. So let's get started. First of all, I have a 3D Studio Max. I'm just gonna draw a plane and approximate. I'm gonna give them a material which is called Material Editor, and I will assign the material first. Then go to the bitmap, and after going bitmap, let's find out my simple texture is called this so this this Ostros portal but let me tell you this is not a sponsored so let's draw this first I'm gonna right click on it go to the object properties make them freeze and uncheck show frozen gray now let's start I'm gonna take a line tool and I will draw a line like this that's so now I just need to go to the vertices first select the vertices and go to the fillet when you will fillet this so it's going to be smooth edges something like this make them smooth that's good also smooth them like this but one thing let me show you that uh, select your vertices separately because someone is too much smooth and someone is not too much smooth so flip them like this perfect and apply a modifier which is called let and select the minimum so amount is going to be my bottle but is ready so the model is ready so what am I going to do I just need to change my texture so unfreeze them first go to the material now the change the texture this part so there's the shampoo of phosphorus once again I'm gonna freeze them and I will draw a line from this point and that's perfect select the vertices make them fill it to create a smooth edge like this and a smooth like this I think this is okay but we need yes apply a modifier which is called let modifier minimum so the bottle is ready but it is some part is a little bit that's good okay I'm gonna place it on a site I'll go to the cylinder extend primitives take chamfer cylinders and I'll go draw from the top like this put them here let's uh, put here and also observe their measurement radius has to be done and height, height has to be increased like this now it's perfect I'm gonna place this one here and we'll increase the sides 60 sides so it's going to be smooth so we have uh, bottles already so I don't need this texture so I'm going to delete this one and make them into the center first so I'm going to go to the material editor I'm going to take the video material and after taking the video materials I'll go to the bitmap and I already have this uh, let me go this texture so I'll assign the texture with reflection high and remove the check from furnace so it's going to be chrome and metal like chrome so I'll apply that chrome texture on it and here I'm gonna go to the editable poly first and uh, select the cap of this like this and I will grow the selections like this and it's perfect so here I'm gonna detach it's called cap because it's a different element it's also a different element it's a dropper so we have uh, make them separate first 
and assign the same chrome metallic materials and select the drop take the new very material give them a white color because the drop is not really white little bit reflection not too much little bit but closeness to be 0 0.8 percent that's perfect now select the bottle i'll go to the bottle ready material and select the color i'm going to take that dark brown color somehow dark brown color like this assign them give them a reflection and reflection as well because it's a transparent bottle 0 0.85 glossiness okay now this is the black one but not too much black according to the dark tone of black but not too much black like this so we have the basic structure is uh, ready so now I'm gonna go to the Adobe Photoshop and as you can see that I have these textures I'm gonna design this one so I'm gonna open this Austros logo again let me remind you that it's not a sponsored so I'm gonna copy this logo here put them here like this adjust your sizes I'm gonna take the text tool and I will write I'm gonna give them a different color so you can see it's called sulfate sulfateless here I'm gonna take another I'll take the duplicate here select the layer alt duplicate and give them a name called shampoo but with some different uh, font Arial and increase their gap decrease their size a little bit squeeze them make them a center so I'll give them marquee tool and make them this box full of color and give them a text on it and it's called uh, this text going to be called uh, sulfate dash free so I'm gonna change the color of this sulfate free here lotion or love yes and I'll give them a case color so we have designed this beautiful textures here I'm gonna define the quantity and the quantity should be 20 ml 200 ml sorry I'm gonna save this texture it's called shampoo on my computer so here I'm gonna put them as a copy because I want to save as a JPEG so I have saved this one okay so let me check all the text I'm gonna put there sulfate less shampoo the reposition of this and overwrite so one texture is ready so then a second one I'm going to take the canvas 7 point 7 and 8 10 height again I'm going to copy the logo here this is another bottle texture the same orange color and uh, here uh, I need to write
this is the paper texture old paper texture i'm gonna place it here because that was not a plain texture it's an old paper texture so what am i gonna do i just need to find out uh, text tool and draw a text enhance ostrich oil make them center and also change their color should be black and uh, again I'm going to take the duplicate and I will draw the descriptions kind of for eggs and paints Mm, I think uh, that's perfect. I'm gonna draw this line here under the ostrich oil, give them a black color. Again, I'm gonna take the duplicate for mentioning the quantity of uh, this oil, this 100 ml bottle. I'm going to save this texture as a JPEG. Just call the oil. One is the shampoo and the second one is oil. So now we need to apply the texture. So I'm going to take the box first and give them 10 feet, 10 inch height and 7 inch their width. I'm going to place 10 here. And also, what am I going to do? I we don't need this depth so i'm going to decrease the depth this is like this give them segments because we need to apply a band modifier and uh, what what i'm going to do that i'm going to band now x-axis this the banding is perfect so the banding is perfect like a sticker and uh, i think we should add just a little bit to not too much I think that's okay so now I am gonna go to the material editor we'll take the new video material first and again I'm gonna go to assign them and we'll call my oil texture which is on the my desktop and that's it assign them so it's perfectly done on here that's perfect I'm gonna take another box for the shampoo texture I think we need to retouch some of the banding here. Now I'm going to take the another box and I will draw a texture for the shampoo. Same pattern I will follow this. Increase their segments and apply a band modifier. That's perfect. more of it that's perfect and what I'm gonna do I need to go to the material editor once again now this time I'm gonna call my another texture I'm gonna give them a reflection first here 0.85 closeness I'm gonna duplicate this one it's called shampoo and I will call my material of shampoo which is this one As oh sorry it's like this one assign them so my bottle is ready with full of texture yes it looks uh, beautiful i'm going to make it close of it select all of them make them a group i'm going to give them a name it's called bottles so let's design the studio light setups so i'm going to go to the target camera place the camera from the top viewport and active with c so this is my camera angle. I'm going to draw a box from the top. And this is my box from the top. I'm going to place this box like this. Okay. Convert them into body. 
and delete their extra segments. Select H, make them chamfer to create a smoothness from the behind wall. Perfect. I'm going to assign, give them shell modifier. Increase their amount. And this is my camera angle. Okay, so I'm going to go to the VA, uh, sorry, material editor. And I will assign material, VA material. And give them color from this part like this but a little bit should be changed that's perfect with some reflection 0 0.85 0 0.5 closeness and uh, now I need to go to the light video light and select video light and from this side left side I'm gonna draw a video light here like this and take a duplicate by holding a shift key but before that we need to change their multiplier i think we should apply a 10 percent multiplier give them a little bit yellowish or bluish light select them hold a shift key and make the duplicate and mirror so this light is going to be opposite give them change their color should be yellowish and on the other side this was a little bit blue and green and on the right side is to be yellowish so i'm gonna take uh, this materials and let me see the renders wow this looks awesome thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like this so subscribe my channel press the bell icon thank you